are you? Good. Good. Awesome. Today we're going to be discussing really important things whenever we're reading our favorite books or just things that we discuss in class. First part is annotate. Now, do any of you know what the word annotate means? No. No? Can you guess? Any guesses? Yes. No? Okay. So annotating is when you provide your own like personal opinions or thoughts to anything that you're reading. So here, you write them on the margins. Now, when you annotate, you can write anything you want, anything that you're thinking, anything that you feel. Um, you can circle words that you want to define later. You can underline really important things. You can put question marks to things that you don't understand and want to come back to later. And you can put exclamation points on things that you were really fascinated by and just couldn't believe were happening, right? Okay. Um, and now, we all know that everyone here in this world is different, right? Yeah. So, Precious is different from Noelle. Noelle is different from Colleen. <laughs> everyone is different, just like you and I. And the same applies to a book, right? So, it's important for us to keep track of the differences of each character because they greatly influence what will be happening in, in future events within the book. And we call these character traits. Now, these people can be happy, sad, smart, witty, clever, sharp, angry, malevolent, which I will teach you how to find out what this word means later on. And Here's a quick example of practice <coughs> character traits. Now, when Angela saw that Kevin dropped his ice cream cone, she took him to the store and bought him another one. What can you guys tell me about Angela's character traits? She's friendly. She's very friendly. She's giving. She's very giving, true. She's generous. She's very generous. Good job. Give each other a hand. So good, you guys are on top. That's great. All right. Well, and how you ever <coughs> got something and haven't gotten to understand what the word means all the time, all the time, right? Mm -hmm. And you just feel like you want to get that big old dictionary off the shelf and just you know look up the word because you're such great readers and are dedicated to whatever you're reading, right? Mm -hmm. Well, no, no, too much work. Too much work. Okay. Well, what if I told you that there is a different way? that you can define a word but in the same sentence that it's in. Okay. Right? Okay, yeah. It's a really cool way, and I'll show you. Here's an example. My little brother, Manuel, likes to pester me instead of making me happy. So, there are three choices. Delight, annoy, and make happy. Which one do you guys think it is? Anyone? B. B, to annoy. Good job, Noel. Yes, very, very right. Now, based on all of these things, now that you guys are getting a feel for how to use what's inside the text to come up with new things, we can make an inference based on text clues. And in order to have an inference, this is a simple math equation, right? Do you guys, you guys like math, right? Well, no. I'll, I'll teach you how to so, to make an inference, you use text clues plus what you know already, and then you have an inference, right? It's pretty easy. <coughs> an inference is to predict what's going to happen in the future, okay? And so, to wrap up everything that we just learned, we're going to learn a quick little song and just clap along. And when you know the words, just go ahead. When you write to help you read, you're annotating. When you write to help you read, you're annotating. When you're annotating, while reading improves. Improvements you'll soon be seeing when you write to help you read your annotating. When you're trying to understand these context clues. When you're trying to understand these context clues. When trying to define only using wits in mind. When you're trying to understand these context clues. When meeting someone new, identify. When meeting someone new, identify. Every character is different, so make sure to write it down and list it. And when meeting someone new, identify. Good job.